debate on gun rights takes us to Hampton tonight. On the City Council's agenda, a Second Amendment resolution. The public had the chance to weigh in before council members voted. And this comes just two days after Virginia Beach added its name to the movement. Ten of your sides, Brett Hall is live in Hampton tonight, and Brett, this was actually withdrawn. Yeah, there was actually no vote tonight because the council, one of the councilwomen who sponsored the resolution in support of Second Amendment rights says she withdrew it because of misinformation. Lines formed early at Hampton City Hall this afternoon. People trying to persuade council to vote both yes and no on the issue. Hampton's NAACP chapter showed up in force to say, we took our thoughts and prayers to the polls in November and voted for state candidates that would vote for stricter gun laws. We don't want a sanctuary, they said. But gun rights advocates, they turned out in even bigger numbers, spoke and said, no, Hampton needs to be a sanctuary as proposed bills in Richmond will make us less safe and only hurt law-abiding citizens. Many from that camp started to boo when Councilwoman Eleanor Weston Brown withdrew the resolution. She says too many people thought the council was in fact deeming itself a sanctuary, even though that word never appeared. Because we did not want to create misunderstanding in the general public, uh, we decided that it was best to withdraw the resolution and not create that misunderstanding, that somehow we would give the inference that Hampton could be a Second Amendment sanctuary city. So what they did instead was they all signed on to a letter, a letter that is going to be sent to the Hampton delegation in Richmond right now as the start of the session. It brings up that they are concerned about bills that will criminalize law-abiding citizens. So essentially, Hampton did the exact same thing that the resolution was going to do, but just didn't vote on it. Reporting live in Hampton, Brett Hall, 10 on your side.